This is a quick demonstration video on how to use our Easy Google Fonts WordPress plugin. Our plugin allows you to add Google Fonts to your theme without having to write a single line of code and preview font changes instantly in the WordPress customizer. To get the most out of using this plugin, we recommend that you have some knowledge on CSS and what your theme CSS selectors are. So with that being said, in order to see how the plugin works, the first thing that we need to do is install it. To do that, I'm going to visit the dashboard hover over the plugins menu, click add new. Then I'm going to type the name of our plugin into the search input, which is easy Google fonts. This will show a list of plugins. Make sure that you select easy Google fonts by titanium themes, click the install now button. This will download and install a plugin on your WordPress website. Once that's been done, you will see a button that says activate. If you click that button, that will activate the plugin. And now that the plugin's been activated, we can go back to the front end of the website to demo the plugin. So as you can see, I've set up a simple demo page here with some headings and some block quotes. I'm going to show you how easy it is to change an element on the page using one of the default font controls. To do this, I'm going to visit the customizer by clicking the customize link above. This will load the customizer and the customizer is where our plugin adds its own panel called typography. So as you can see here, if I expand the default typography section, we have our default font controls and these controls control your paragraphs and your headings through one to six. In this demo, what we're going to do is edit the header three elements across the whole website. So when I expand the heading three panel, you can see that there are a list of additional options that allow you to fine tune the appearance of the heading. We encourage you to have a look at all of the options, uh, but in this demo, all I'm going to do is change the font size and color of the heading to show you and give you an idea of what's actually possible with the plugin. So let's change the heading font. I want to change my header three to use a font called cabin sketch. And you will see once I select that font, the previewer is updated instantly with that Google font. So the heading three element now is using cabin sketch as its font. An important point to note is while you're experimenting with the appearance of this heading, if any user visits your website, they won't see the changes. They will only see the changes when you click the publish button above. But let's go on and change the color of this heading. So in this case, I want my heading to be red. Let's customize the size of this heading. So once I'm happy with the size and happy with the color and font, I'm just going to click the publish button above. Once that's been saved and I exit the customizer, you will see that the heading three element has been updated across the site. So what we've managed to do here is add Google fonts into the theme, customize the heading three color and appearance and font. And we've done all of this using the default font control without having to write a single line of code. So the next thing I want to show you is how to create custom font controls for your theme. A lot of the time in the support forums, we get a question on how to manage elements that aren't manageable by the default font controls. The default font controls control paragraphs and headings one to six. But let's say, for example, we want to control or change the appearance of this block quote. In this case, we would need to create our own custom font control, which is what I'm going to show you how to do now. So let's go back over to the dashboard. Let's hover over the settings menu and click easy Google fonts. This will take you to the admin screen where you can create and manage your own custom font controls. So I'm going to create my own custom font control called my block quotes. I'm going to enter the CSS selectors that I want this font control to manage. So in this case, it's going to be block quote P. Then I'll hit the enter button. So this is what I meant when I said you needed to have knowledge of your theme CSS selectors. You can add multiple CSS selectors here. So a font control can manage multiple CSS selectors. But in this case, I only need to enter one. Then I'm going to create the create font control button. Now we can visit the customizer to manage this font control. So I'm going to go to appearance and customize. If we go back to the typography section, you will see that in addition to our default typography section, we have another section called theme typography. And within this section, 
you can see the custom font control that we've created. So let's have a look at the block quote font control. If you expand the control, you will see the same controls that were available for the default font control. So let's pick a custom font for our block quotes. In this case, I'm going to use a font called Annie Use Your Telescope. And as you can see, when I click that font, the instant live preview updates for custom font controls as well, just like it did for the default font control. So let's carry on and make some modifications to this block quote. So I want to have an underline on my block quote. I want to change the color. So in this case, I want my block quotes across the website to be green. And I want to increase the size of my font control. So my block quote, sorry. Once I'm happy with the changes, I just click the publish button. Now that's been saved and we close the customizer, go back to the front end of the website. You will see that with our custom font control, we've also managed to change a custom element within the theme as well. So that's just a quick introduction on how you choose to use our plugin. If you have any questions, please give me a shout in the support forums. We're happy to give you a hand anytime. Please leave your comments below. Uh, we'd love to know what you think, and we hope that you find this plugin useful. Thanks.